Phillips will come out. I have Kelsey for three fouls. Oh, let's see. see four on the scoreboard? Well, I would think so, but this is one of the more confusing scoreboards in college basketball today. Yeah. I think that's safe to say. Plus, we're easily confused. Well, that's... Kelsey almost had his pocket pick, and then he throws it away. Reed had touched it, so he'll save it. Kelsey up high battling, and let's see who the foul's on. I believe they're going to call it on the Cougars as Kelsey got tossed down. Hey, it's going to be on Mark Duran. Well, Gracie did not hesitate, did he? That little Pat Kelsey, he'll take on everybody. Here the ball is tipped. Reed saves it. And watch Kelsey go up after it. Oh, yeah, I think there was some contact there. Well, I think he was draped over his back. Pat <laughs> Kelsey will go to the line here. Pat has not scored. Kelsey at the line. No problem. He's on the scoreboard now. Cowboys just hanging in there. They're down by 13. They were down by 14 at the half. Russell Larson comes back in and Kenneth Roberts comes out. Kelsey, by the way, has four fouls. And the little guy sticks a couple of them in there. There's one guy right there, Pat Kelsey. Of course, Roman Tata comes in for him now. I think Cowboy fans are going to get a big kick out of for a long time. He's fun to watch. He will work hard. Ooh. Durant set a big pick on Murray, and then he's rejected as Reed has his shot blocked by Ratliff. Oh, Tata! A vicious oh. foul. Boy, he was almost beheaded. Randy Reed comes over and... Uh, commiserate for this. Boy, he was uh, clotheslined, I think, is the way. Here's the play. Great block by Ratliff. Cowboys start the break. Trainer gets it down to Murray, bounces it to Tata. Out. Whoa. The football is clotheslined. Wow. Randy Reed's third foul, and that was a major move. David Murray looked as if he was still trying to get his bearings. Made a nice pass on the break. I think he's okay. But he took a vicious hit on a pick from Durant at midcourt. There you see the coach talking to him. Yeah. Encouraging him. Oh, Tata. Tata shakes it off and gets them both. So he has seven, and the Cowboys, once again, are within ten. They refuse to fold up the tent just yet. 11.55 remaining, and it's BYU by 10. Classic television. Hogan's Hero. Green Acres. Arnold Zipper. Who played him? Nobody. He was the pig. Remember Family Affair? Mr. French. I loved him. Mm. He's attractive. Pete Link Jewel. Okay, Ginger or Marianne? Ginger was a bimba. Marianne. Marianne or Jeannie? Beachwood Age Budweiser. Genie. Crisp, clean, classic. Hey, Beat. Without Cole, you'd never be able to watch a basketball game without a ticket. That's right. The game you've been watching has been brought to you by Cole. Cole that makes the electricity that makes television possible. And a lot of other things we'd have a hard time doing without. We're Amex Coal Industries. Just think of us as a basketball power. Great job, people. Sometimes you don't even know you're missing some of life's most precious sounds. Now you can hear well again with a hearing aid from New Concept. Comparable in quality and lower in price than those offered by the leading competition. New Concept Hearing gives you all the extra support you need to hear the world you've been missing. Shop around, then don't let another minute of life's most precious sounds pass you by. With New Concept Hearing, now you can afford to hear better. Dave Walsh and George Kay here at the Marriott Center. Nice to have you along here on a Thursday evening. The Cowboys trying to battle back, down by 14 at the half, at full of within 10. And we're back to the action. Murray taps it loose. Reed will have to retrieve it backcourt. 
Randy Reed in the corner. Well, the Cowboys have it down to 10, the closest they've been in a while. They could get a stop here. Duran. Roberts can't handle it, but it comes right to Reed. Six on the shot clock. Two on the shot clock. Theo hangs on. He has been a really workhorse at both ends. Ball knocked loose. The Cougars come up with it. Cowboys mm. give it right back. That was an ill-advised pass. Murray trying to get it down low to trailer. 11 minutes to play. Larson, great hand. Oh, man. 28 for Russell Larson. Back to a 12-point lead. He can catch the ball. And he knows what to do with it when he does catch it. Bada couldn't get Higgins flashing across the middle. Murray does. And then Quint is fouled. Nice dish by David Murray into Quint Higgins when he was starting to go to the hoop and he was fouled on his way in. Here's the pass inside. Quint with a dribble, shows up with it. Foul is on Russell Martin. All right, let's see, that's gotta be three. At least. Yep. It is his third and Quint Higgins will step up to the strike. Higgins coming in 55% from the line. Can't get that one. So the Cowboys turning it over and missing free throws, and they're going to have to stop that right now if they're going to get back in it. Reed backs off. Now to Wilcox, and he fumbles it right to Larson, and the foul. Well, when things are going good, you can do no wrong. And that time, the loose ball. Look at Wilcox, can't handle it, no. Goes right to Larson, and what can you do? Foul him from behind. <laughs> Wilcox just loses it. It's anybody's ball on the floor, but it rolls to Larson. Foul from behind by Ratley. That's 30 for Larson at this point, and he's going to shoot a free throw. But only one. That is the fourth foul on Ratliff. Well, he's just gone over 1,000. That's his 31st point of the night, and that gives him 1,000 points in his career here at BYU. And he has a long way to go. Cowboys suddenly down by 15, and that's their biggest deficit. Kelsey going to be grabbed by Christensen. Well, there's only 12,000 plus here, but they do make some noise. Very competitive. H.L. Coleman will be checking in for the Pokes. Kelsey will step up to the line. He will get two. That's the 10th team foul. Second on Christensen, but the 10th on the Cougars, and Pat is at the line for a couple. Pat's made his only two from the line. Well, Ratliff has been magnificent tonight, except for the personal fouls. He's got to come out as Kelsey hits the first one. And he had no, no alternative that time. He went up to try to block the shot and foul Larson from his own. Kelsey, four out of four from the line tonight. And it's a 13-point BYU lead. Wilcox on the wing. Boy, they've been feeding Durant all night long, and now they're going to stop that play, and let's see who the foul's on. Coleman trying to work against Larson, and you can see Higgins down low explaining to official Bob Berryhill that Larson is forearming people away. Went trying to lobby for a foul against Larson, but that isn't the way this is going to work. Larson is going to go to the line with 31 points already, and he's a great free throw shooter. First foul on H.L. Coleman. That is the seventh Cowboy team foul, so the Cougars are in the bonus as well as Larson makes it 32 on the night. 
What an evening he is enjoying. And here's the second one as well. Well, you knew he'd get the roll. That's the way it's been going tonight. The lead is 15. Kelsey getting a lot of playing time tonight. Well, you know there's no quit in these Cowboys, that's for sure. Murray. That won't fall. Larson. Christensen. Back to Durant for three. No, on the bank. Tip no good. Larson. My goodness. Wilcox for three. First points for Wilcox, and that bumps it up to 18 points. Schrader. Murray on the wing. Banker good. Pretty shot. David Murray just hanging in the air. He has eight points. 65-49. BYU with the lead. Christensen can't get rid of Kelsey. Gets it back, and Pat just fouled out. Well, Christensen got a step on him, and uh, it was a nice pass to Christensen, and all Kelsey could do was reach around and commit the foul. So he's out. Donald Phillips comes in to replace him. And Good effort by that little guy right yeah. there. BYU fans waving goodbye to Pat. 8.42 remaining, and Kelsey is gone. And Christensen is at the line. Well, they're going to give Larson a little bit of a rest. 33 points. He's earned it. Christensen on the year, a 78% free throw. The senior cannot hit the first one, and Coleman is up high to clean the board. Cowboys down by 16. BYU has played primarily zone defense to open to the man and has been in the zone for most of the rest of the way. Murray, got it. Oh, that is a tough, tough shot. 10 for Murray. The lead is 14. Roberts. Roberts got uh, Quint Higgins on his hip and just took the nice entry pass and no problem at all. Under eight minutes to play, and Trader hits the tray. Cowboys have not had a lot of that. That's the second uh, three-pointer for Trader. He has eight points. Knight on the wing, finds Wilcox. Fall away. Uh-huh. That was pretty. Ball away. Nice touch. Cowboys can ill afford to trade hoops right now. Time running out. 7.20 left. And they're down by 15. Phillips to Murray for three. Boy, Murray cannot find the range from the perimeter. Christensen ahead of the pack. First points for Christensen. Murray to trailer. Cougars have always liked to run. Oh, yeah. Higgins, no foul, so Coleman mops up. Wow. Higgins drew three people to him. Two people fouled him. Yeah. Coleman, <laughs> when he got the rebound, was all alone. Six for HL. The lead is 15. Durant is pushed by Trailer. Trailer's third. Cotta's coming back in, as is Theo Ratliff. And Larson has had enough of a rest. He's only got 33 points. And his team up by 15, so he's right back in there. 6.22 remaining here at the Marriott Center, and Mark Durant 
a younger brother of Devin Durant, was an All-American here at BYU. What a great player he was. Devin also played in the NBA. Mark Durant is the youngest of eight children. That's a popular family size on this team, isn't it? Durant hits them both. And the Cougars with a big lead, 6.22 remaining. Cougars by 17. Village Inn Healthy Breakfast tastes great, and they're low in sodium, cholesterol, and fat. So how do we do it? Okay, girls, let's keep it going. Let's have some fun here. Yeah, drop on in how you live. Drop on in, Village Inn. We've got what you're hungry for. Only five more minutes. With seven convenient Wyoming locations. At a time like this, you shouldn't have to worry about receiving the best service and care, or about the stability of the health insurance company you've chosen. It's simply a matter of trust. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Wyoming. We build our dreams day by day, brick by brick. This is Gary Wickham, president of American National Bank, the bank with the bricks to build your dreams. We at American National Bank believe that you build a community the same way you build your dreams. As a community bank since 1919, we have the bricks to build your dreams and our community. American National Bank of Cheyenne, downtown and F.E. Warren Air Force Base, member FDIC. Back at the Marriott Center, they're all jacked up here, why not? They're leading by 17 with 6.22 to play. Cowboys shooting woes continue on into the second half. They have rebounded well, but it's been the shooting. Murray, and he's fouled. David Murray taking it to the baseline again. Rises, and he's fouled as he gets the shot away. Cowboys shooting only 39% from the field. BYU at 47%. From three-point range, the folks, three of 14. That's 21%. Toby Wright's not happy with that kind of percentage. Murray on the year is 76% free throw. One of the Cowboys' best at the line. He has 11 points now. An even dozen. Reed will bring it up against Murray, and there you see the score. Wyoming down by 15. Well, you expect BYU to run some clock here. In fact, they've been pretty patient most of the evening. Durant fumbles along the inline, can't make the tough shot, tip no good. Theo can't handle it, but Tata comes away with it. Murray in the open court. Not close. That's a pretty good percentage shot for David Murray. He, he normally can hit that shot. Pull up jumper on the break, but not this time. David working hard. Though. Knight steps on the sideline, out of bounds to the Cowboys. But Murray really has been in a slump, George, for oh, the last two, three weeks mm, from yep. the perimeter. Just can't find his shot. And for so many Cowboys fans, you saw him put on a show in Kansas at the shootout. That was a hard to figure. The steal. Reed, Larson. 35. 35, and I'm running out of room on my score sheet. That's enough from him. Tata's had one three-pointer. Steele tries to lean in. Murray for three. And yep. he got that one. 15 for David Murray as he's come on here in the second half. But you're right, he hasn't really found his stroke. The lead is 14 again. Wilcox shut down by Tata. 17 on the shot clock and four and a half minutes remaining on the game clock. Eight on the shot clock. Murray, good position against Reed. 
Comes right tonight, blocked by Ratliff, taking away Tata. Roman to Murray, he'll try the three, that's short. My goodness. Uh, that was not even close. Cougars will try to add to it now. That was at a good defensive stand last time down. Knight and Higgins will grab it. Higgins trying to make something happen. Comes out and he's called for the reach in. H.L. Coleman is re-entering the Cowboy lineup and Trader is going to get a breather. Boy, Bobby gives you everything, doesn't he? He does. There's the start. Higgins picks up his third. Quintonia Higgins. And Shane Knight at the line. Knight is one of the few players on this team who does not shoot well from the line. I told you before, just 50%. There's only three points. Average is 8.6. From San Diego, California, it does get the second one. So Knight with four points. And the Cougars with a 15-point lead. 3.49 to go. Category. Music. Deep Purple, man. Classic. Born. Huh? Yeah, man. First album. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. cool. Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Hey. Ah, me, Loaf. One of his friends call him. Me? Mr. Loaf. Uh, uh, how about my Sharon? Beachwood Age Budweiser. Super Tramp. Crisp, clean, classic. Crampton comes alive. Moment of silence, please. We would match. Yeah, all right. All right. Cool. When you're talking tough, hard-working trucks, you're talking Ford F-Series. F-Series Super Cab, the number one truck in America for 17 years. A tough truck that delivers 4x4 power, a standard driver's side airbag and anti-lock brakes, optional split bench seating, and the value of $1,200 in savings. Ford F-Series, the number one truck in America. Your faithful friend does his best for you. Do your best for him. Animal House offers a full program of grooming and nutrition for the most special pet in the world, yours. Their certified groomers use tender, loving care to clean, cut, and clip to perfection. From big to small, Animal House will bring out the best in your pet with personal attention and patience. And when it comes to nutrition, experience counts. You'll find a complete line of IAMS products and accessories to fit any need. Animal House and IAMS, doing their best for you and your pets. Well, a lot of ground to make up and not a lot of time to do so. 3.49 left, and Russell Larson, look at his numbers tonight. Big, mm -hmm. big game from the junior. I guess. 35 points, dozen rebounds, 10 for 10 from the free throw line. Tata cannot get free against the zone. Ratliff, and he foul. Well, they converged on him in that in that uh, little zone when he got the ball inside on the pass for Murray. He was surrounded. Third foul on Mark Durant. So again, Theo will step up to the line. 13 points as he stands there. Front rim is the first. His career high came against well, one of the better teams the Cowboys have played all year, if not the best. Louisville, mm -hmm. he had 26 in that game. At 14 now. He's got a bunch of block shots as well. Murray leads all Cowboys scores with 50. Reed was open momentarily. It goes off him out of bounds to the Cowboys. Randy Reed, uh, not exactly agreeing with uh, his dad, Roger. Shout something out. Murray to Coleman. Tata is open for three. In and out. Theo for the jam. 17 for Theo Ratliff. I should say uh, 16. 
You don't get three for a slam. <laughs> no. No. Some you should, yes. That was just your basic slam. <laughs> Reed had to go behind it, but Larson runs it down. Oh, he does it all. He is very quick for a man his size. 14 on the shot clock. Ratliff, another board. He's done well in that department tonight, too. Murray, freelancing. Leans in, can't get it to go, but he is grabbed and fouled. And now Roger Reed's going to ask for a timeout. The Cougars are up by 12 with 2.19 remaining, but that man right there has seen enough. And he doesn't care how much time is left. Cougars lead it, 76-64. A primetime skating spectacular with Christy Yamaguchi and Midori Ito, plus pairs competition. The Durasoft Colors World Professional Figure Skating Championships, Friday. The Super Bowl goes country with Winona, Travis Tritt, Tanya Tucker, and Clint Black. The Wavy Lane Super Bowl Halftime Show, Super Sunday on NBC. He was just playing with his friends. We never thought it would happen to us. We were so lucky. Ryan got the care and treatment he needed. And looking back now, choosing Blue Cross and Blue Shield was the best decision we ever made. It's simply a matter of trust. For over 40 years, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Wyoming. Well, everything's coming up blue here at the Marriott Center, including the eyes of the young and <laughs> The Cougars lead it by 12, and 2.19 remaining, and Roger Reed acting as if this is a two-point game instead of a 12-point lead. He'll be right. Yeah, he is uh, intense. He does not want to uh, see them fall off in their intensity here. San Diego State playing at Fresno State tonight. And the underdog in that one. But the Cowboys in jeopardy of slipping even deeper. DSU has beaten Utah. That uh, got a rise from the crowd. I don't couldn't quite get the exact score. Well, the Cowboys free throw shooting has improved a bit. They started out dreadfully, three of seven. Murray pulls the post to within 11. Now, the uh, Cowboys get a rematch a week from tonight in Laramie. David hits them both. 17 in the game now for Murray. Raiders back in, and Quint Higgins is going to sit. So it'll be nice to be at the double-A next Thursday night as the Cougars come in, and the Cowboys will see if they can turn this thing around. Now. It's a 10-point Cougar lead as we approach the two-minute mark. Cougars going to weave it a bit, work on the clock. Time as much an enemy as the Cowboys right now. Ten on the shot clock. And the Cowboys to see it. Rayner loses it. So it works out even for the better as the Cougars got it right back. Most of the bounces tonight have uh, gone BYU's way. Of course, they really hustle, too. Durant with Coleman on him. 15 on the shot clock. A CSU win with a one-pointer, 71-70. Now, Tata is yep. Of course, Utah, the Cowboys will play the Utes on Saturday night. It'll be a radio-only game. Utah without the services of their marvelous freshman, Keith Van Horn who has gone back to Diamond Bar, California, where his father passed away just yesterday. He is a very talented player. Take this opportunity to say congratulations to you, Dave, uh, chosen again as the Wyoming Sportscaster of the Year. And thanks, uh, congratulations also to uh, Richard Anderson, sports writer at the Laramie Daily Boomerang. He's the sports writer of the year. You know how important that one is and how pleasing that is. Your peers recognize you. You have been recognized on many occasions yourself. Well, yours is richly deserved. Thank you so much. Murray. And 
get it. He's front-ribbed a lot of them tonight. Christensen will draw the foul. 